I'm going to show you today how to assemble IKEA free ten free seater sofa bed. That's the one here. It have a storage under it. You can open it, make it kind of a double bed. That's how you open it up. Easy, just pull it on this one here, down, and this one just fold down like this. This is it. Nice storage under it. And when you want to close it, that's all you need to do. Nice and easy. Pillows up. And this is IKEA Frichten free seater sofa bed with the storage. And I show you today how to put it together. Let's do it. And you're getting two boxes with this IKEA Frichten free seater sofa bed. Two large boxes. So we're going to open it up manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video and this is all the parts you're getting I'm just gonna take all out so you can see exactly what you're getting with this IKEA Frichten free seater sofa bed second box so that's all the parts and here you're getting the screws a few small panels there and this is the screws you're getting with it with all the legs and brackets I like to organize all the stuff so I know exactly what I'm working with there's gonna be few similar screws which I explain in a moment how they're gonna work together and how I'm gonna call them so you can identify them easier when you're gonna assemble so this is all the screws brackets you see those two are similar I'm gonna call them the ones on the left are gonna be the triangle sharp ones and the, on the right they're gonna be the round heads so you're gonna have two triangle ones, two round heads and one different one here. Those two panels are important. If you want to cut this you can, if not you can cut that at the end. That's supposed to hold like this at the end. So you're gonna have easier time if you don't cut them and uh, put them on the second panel. But I cut it and it was no problem so you can, you can cut it if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Second one exactly the same. I just cut it so it open up. Apparently it's easier when you have them uh, closed and you open them only after when you attach that uh, extending part or the sitting part but it worked out so you can just cut those uh, plastic things off it's fine. Here we're gonna position them this uh, this side you see this cutout is on the inner side on both sides. So just position it exactly as I have it here and you're gonna be fine so those cutouts are on the inner side on the top at the moment. And here we're gonna have bigger and smaller panel. They are same in the length, but this is a bit what this one is smaller, have three holes, and the bigger one have four holes. On the other side, exactly the same. The bigger panel have a four holes, that one's on the right, and smaller have a three holes. That's one on the left, and that's one we're gonna work with. So we take the bigger one out for now. That's the bigger one with the four holes on each side. And now you have those five different screws here so this one and this one have a round heads I'm gonna call them round heads small round heads big and this one have a triangle shaped head and this one have triangle shaped head so it's gonna be triangle big one triangle small one and the one on the side is completely different shape so I'm gonna address this one later on when we're gonna need to use it so small round heads we're gonna need six of them and this panel have those uh, small panels on the edges clean on this side so we're gonna position it this way you see at the bottom there there is those panels we can put this panel down for now and we're gonna have two side panels on each of them on the metal part there is cut out that's gonna be on the inner side support for the bottom clear on this side so these supports for the button gonna line up with the with the middle panel and we're gonna join them together so we can join them together just lift the middle panel up and find the right holes it's gonna be three holes we have small round heads and they're coming in through the three holes so just find the hole in the side panel and place them in secure all three of them with a few twists and then you can attach it you, you have a uh, allen keys in the box included with this three seater sofa bed so you can work with that if you want to work hard and be frustrated this is huge I think is because uh, when you're putting the 
when you need to access it through the side panel that's why they make them so big but here for easy life that's what i'm using this is bigger and smaller electric screwdriver the bigger one is combination with the drill and the screwdriver with, uh, with adjustable torque which is not gonna let you overrun the screws or break the locks the small one is just electric screwdriver fantastic tools and if you like to see what i'm using the all the links are in the description so you can check it out so here we just secure all three screws all the way in and this is the smaller round heads other side exactly the same position this side panel exactly the same you have those supports for the bottom panel on the inner side and the cutout is on the inner side lift the middle panel up as I mentioned the middle panel is the smaller one for now and we place it on the side panel find all three holes and once you're in the right position we're gonna use another three of the small round headed screws place them in find all three holes and secure it with the allen key if you don't have electric screwdriver just secure them in and we build kind of u-shape so pay attention to those inner sides with those small panels which is gonna hold the support here you have the support on the middle so you're gonna have one thicker one and two thinner panels so the thicker one coming on the middle the thinner on the sides this is the only the different screws you have there so you have eight of these so you're gonna use four of these screws so only those ones are different from the others and it's eight of them place two of them you have small allen key there as well place the screws and secure it from the top here again fantastic small electric screwdriver make my life much easier here so just secure it don't go crazy here just when you feel enough resistance stop that's the support for the bottom panel in the storage so those small panels around they're gonna hold the storage and this is the middle support for the for the storage at the bottom one screw on each side and two screws on the middle support so now we have one screw on the side and now we can put it down this way be careful because those three slim supports on the middle they are fragile so just lift it up slowly this way and now we have the bigger panel you see the four holes on one side and on the other side there is those panels for the support or for the bottom of the storage space so that's going exactly the same lining up with the side panels and uh, the other smaller panel so at the moment is at the bottom part line up the holes on the edges so you're gonna have four holes in this case and you're gonna need triangle head bigger screws with the two brackets the l-shaped bracket and this bracket this bracket coming in and you see those two hooks are on the top just line up with the holes and place those triangle head bigger screws in is it two of them and going through the bracket through the side panels all the way in now important things this bracket one side is bigger it's about four and a half centimeter another side is four centimeters so one side is longer it is gonna go on the side and the shorter side is on the top so shorter side up here and the bigger side on the side place it in and secure it together so this is the shorter part of the bracket and here is the long part of the bracket it's just half centimeter different but you may don't see it but uh, pay attention to it exactly the same on the other side bracket and l-shaped bracket the bigger triangle head screws two of them you see bigger part smaller on the top the longer part on the side so same here this flat bracket on those three holes and the two tops are on the top of the storage space place two screws two longer triangle head screws in the bracket shorter side shorter side on the top longer side on the side twist the screws in so get the grip and now we can secure it tighten them up you see the brackets is moving up closing in nicely there we go all done make sure those screws are completely in so the heads lining up with the with the bracket on the top you're gonna have those holes on the side you have those plastic uh thing on the side one side is bigger one side is smaller so it's kind of slanting and we're gonna use those bigger triangle shape heads so the bigger side is on the right side a smaller side of the plastic is on the left 
place it in and we attach it to the L-shaped bracket on the other side. Make sure you position this plastic correctly, otherwise you're not going to be able to put the side panel, so smaller on the left and bigger side on the right. Secure the screws. Exactly the same here, the smaller side of the plastic on the left, the bigger side of the plastic on the right. See, this is the bigger side on the right side, smaller on the left. If you put them the other way around, you're not going to be able to push in the, uh, the side panels. So check this twice, but well, I'm going to remind you still when we're going to do the side panels. Just do it right to avoid the unnecessary complications later on. Exactly the same on the other side. The smaller side is on the right if you're looking from this side and the bigger side on the left. Secure it with the two triangle shaped head screws, the bigger ones. If it, if it goes hard you cannot find the hole, open the two screws on the top and uh, secure it from the side. Once you're in you can, uh, you can tighten the top ones or just get all the way in and then tie it the top screws. On the other side was working here I have to open it up slightly so that's how it works. You see I open them up now I close them once I'm in with the plastic. Exactly the same at the bottom. The smaller or the thinner side is on the right side, the wider side is on the left. Two screws coming in, the two screws with the triangle shaped head, the longer ones, and secure it all the way in. You see it's coming that far. Now we're gonna need those different screws, so it's uh, four of them and we're gonna secure with the one screw the support on the middle on the side, with the two screws is securing the support on the middle. So this is just gonna hold the bottom panel supported on the middle. Be careful, don't step on it when you're gonna put this down. And one screw on the side as well for the slimmer panel. So you have two slimmer on the sides and one thicker panel on the middle. Now we can put it down. You're gonna have this metal bar on the middle. You're gonna have those round headed screws, the smaller ones place it in those gaps which is supposed to be on the inner side now with the hole on the middle and here exactly the same on the other side you have the hole already there so just put the round headed screw the smaller one in exactly the same on the other side the round headed smaller screw in and secure it it's coming nicely in you see it closing in between the gap there it is from both sides and now we can lift it up and put it on the side for now. We're gonna work with the seating part of this IKEA Frichten three seater sofa bed. And we put it upside down and this is the bottom panel. So just place it in. There is a, this string or this, um, this thing we're gonna pull on. Now we're gonna have this big rounded screws, three of them. So once you put this bottom panel up, you leave that string or the, that thing you're gonna pull on close and open the sofa here outside those three long round headed screws we just place it in the holes so this is the longest screws you get in the box grip it just by hand you're gonna feel if you're in the in the right place and once you're in secure them so the gap at the back is gonna close nicely middle one exactly the same and one on the other side see the gap once you're gonna secure the screws you're gonna close nicely all the way that's why the string on the middle leave it out so you're gonna be able to open it and close the three seater sofa you can uh, hook it here on the velcro once you're done with the opening and closing and now we have the smaller triangle shaped screws and we're gonna place two screws on the each side over here at the front and don't screw them completely in just leave them like this about one one and a half centimeters out exactly the same on the other side two smaller triangle shaped screws in just leave them about one centimeter out so here is the part where we're gonna put the storage part in so you're going this way with the holes on those triangle shaped screws which we just put in now. We did them, screw them all the way in so we can comfortably put this storage part in. Get it on the edge there. Two people would be nice here but you can do it alone. You see I just push it all the way down. I'm not on, right on the top of the screws but I can push it slowly side by side. Not all at the same time. Get on the top of the holes. The hole is 
big have bigger opening on one side so get in there do it exactly same on the other side get to the bigger opening push it in just push it to the smaller part of the hole and then that's the final destination where you're supposed to be exactly the same on the other side once you get in through the bigger opening in the hole slide it out and get into the smaller at the end smaller opening right at the end and then you're in the right place so here you can see i can open and close that's why i think they suggest in the instructions to leave the string attached only cut them later on when you attach these but there was no no problem with the fixing it here so i just cut it at the beginning so you can do exactly the same so now here you're in the right position just secure all the the both screws in and finish it with allen key just tighten them up completely i think that's why they did this very long uh, allen key so you can uh, get in through the side or through here from under as it's gonna be a bit limited space in there we secure those two screws and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side secure the, those two screws once you're in the right position and that right position is right at the end of the hole bigger opening of the hole is where you put it in and then you just slide it all the way down cure both of them tighten them completely to attach the storage part of the bed now legs it's gonna be four legs on the frame and two legs on the front part of the of the sitting space exactly the same on the other side two here one on the front one on the main frame and one at the back of the main frame just secure it in there is no screw on the other side so just tighten them up this way now we have the legs on so we're gonna just turn the sofa the other way around so it's gonna sit on the legs just go slowly two people would be useful here but you can do it alone you see it's not that heavy and just make sure you have enough space to roll the sofa over and here is how you open it we don't have the back panel yet so it's kind of wobble at the moment because the back part is not there so it's not heavy enough so we're gonna do now the back side or the support panel at the back so here we're gonna have those metal brackets on each side and here we have those brackets here where we're gonna hook it so you see those two hooks are on the top that's how it's supposed to be so if you have the bracket exactly the same you're in the right place at the moment open the storage space now if you're working alone go one side and then the other side here i'm just gonna hook it for now just this way not all the way in so i have the panel in the same height and i'm gonna do the other side all the way in so just find the holes the bigger openings in and just slide it down see i'm in the right place here slowly at the moment because i don't have this one fixed yet so i'm just gonna push it up to the openings and slide it down and the back panel is fixed that's how it's supposed to be both heads nicely in now you can close it down and that's how it's supposed to be the bracket at the back so if you're in this position you're in the right place exactly the same here the bigger opening is down and the smaller up okay here smaller round headed screws and we're gonna need four of them two on each side so place it through the bracket to the frame of the storage exactly the same with this one next to it just place it in and secure it so that's gonna hold the bracket in place and once we're in on one side we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side so just place the round headed the small round headed screw on one side and on the other side one in the bracket one in the frame secure it all the way in now we have this done we're gonna do the side panel in the moment but first we're gonna put the bottom panel here so you have this bottom panel is quite slim material they should put something thicker but well that's what we have here so open the storage part up open this the back panel the back side up and place this one in make sure you on the top of those uh, small supports on the sides and uh, on the middle hard to get in but once you get on the top of the the side supporting panels you're gonna be fine just don't break it don't push don't force it so make sure you up on all all the supporting panels and now this is the storage with the bottom panel don't step inside it's you're gonna break it 
here we have those plastics with the Allen keys, which is very practical. So you're gonna have your Allen keys always if you need them. You need to tighten the sofa later on. And now we have those side panels. So you have those two metal brackets on the side panel and the plastic on a frame. So if you put the plastic now in the right position, the slimmer part is on the top and the wider part of the plastic is at the bottom. The key here is to push it quite tight, the tight, the closest you can to the frame and then just get on the top of the plastics and slide it down. I find it quite hard to do this, but if you're not in the right place, you're going to feel it. It's not going to come in. So you just go back again till the top, push it all the way in as much you can and then slide it down slowly. It's quite hard to come in, but that's how it's supposed to be because it have to be very tight when you're going to push the sofa, you're not going to have a problem. That's how it's supposed to be nice and tight. On the other side, exactly the same. Just push it in on those plastics and push it down all the way down. The metal going, metal bracket going on the plastic, the inner side of the plastic on the top, on the both sides. So just push it in as far you can and push it slowly down. You're going to feel you're in the right place if it's going to go down. If not, go back and do it again till you don't feel like it's going you can go quite tight but you're gonna feel you're gonna go in slowly go from one side push push from one side to another side push it down all the way down and the last thing what we have to do here is the pillows so they pressed so just open it up be careful if you have a carpet knife as i have here don't cut the pillows and we're gonna push them into the fabric with this only be careful with the with the zip zip on the edge when you're gonna stretch it uh, don't stretch it too much on the edges so you're not gonna break the zip but uh, the these pillows as they were pressed they're not that wide so it's fine to push them comfortably in and close all the thing uh, nicely sometimes when you do these sofas those pillows they are really tight for the material so you're gonna have to push them quite hard in and stretch it properly but in this case it was fine the pillows coming nicely in they're not that tight i think they're gonna extend as they were pressed in the plastic but for now just to put them in is, is uh, comfortable and uh, we have the third pillow a nice looking ikea frichten three seater sofa bed and this is it this is ikea frichten three seater sofa bed i hope you enjoyed if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day and this is and this is it actually check out the <laughs> Actually, uh, three seater IKEA Frichten, IKEA Frichten, three seat. This mic making me crazy. Okay.